I'm here to show you how I put on a face. This will not include like eyeshadow and heavy stuff. And I don't want my eye bag showing. I want some eyebrows. Also, because some of you asked how I put on foundation, today I'll be using a um, kind of a lighter foundation, in lighter in consistency. Start earlier. I put on eye cream already. Also, I put some moisturizer, but not all over my face. This is the Nivea Smoothie Cream, which is actually for babies' butts. <laughs> but I use it for my face because it just works so well in the Western Hemisphere. They use primers and moisturizers a lot. Sometimes a primer is not just to help the makeup stay. It's because their country is so dry. From my experience on like weddings and TV commercials, the less layers you put, the longer lasting your makeup will stay. So today I'm using um, my Benefit Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation in champagne. So I just put like I put like about that much. The brush I'll be using is this Echo Tools. It's actually a bronzing brush. It's a buffing type of brush. It's super big. I use it for foundation and I just take a little bit. See, like that much first. And I start in the center of my face where like all the redness, darkness is. And you know, I do this. See, it looks funny. But and then I start to, I start to buff it. I buff it in circular motions. And what buffing does as compared to if you used a foundation brush that looks like this, you're able to keep the layers thin and diffuse. So it gives you coverage, but it doesn't like smack on the product. It's almost like manual airbrush, I guess, which is why I use it. Honestly speaking, my skin is good. <laughs> I have good skin. I made it mana from my Lola. She handed down the cosmic jeans. So as you can see, that's a thin layer. I stopped the camera to check. I was buffing my foundation, right? <laughs> The whole table was shaking the time I was doing foundations doing this. I was like watching, I was like, why, why is it doing this? And if you use this motion, this helps conceal it. Pressing, pressing, dabbing, dabbing, you know. Um, once you've finished buffing, you can do this to ensure more coverage. But I'm still gonna go in with concealer because I should. Okay. You can take it down your neck. This is a very good match for me, so I don't... Oh, there's my dad. <laughs> I'm wearing foundation. Um, you can see there's no, because it's a buffing brush, there's no streaking, which I like as compared to the normal foundation brush. And then I go in with my concealer. Um, the concealer I'll be using is MAC NC35. And this is the studio finish one. Ugh. Gone through a lot already. And see how humid it is? Um, and I'm using the Real Techniques Dome Shaped Shadow Brush. And I get a little bit like that much. It's also kind of like a buffing brush, but for concealer. Let me look straight. And then I put in the inner corner of my eye. Actually, this is good enough for both eyes, I think. And... Because that's where the darkness always, like, super, super dark. And I also put around my nose, uh, a bit around my mouth, because that's where I get allergies. It's a bit greasy because I just put it on and it's quite humid, but I'll set that all with powder later. Some would finish off already with powder, but I don't like to seal, because when you use powder, you're gen you are seeding the makeup. It's like you're saying, finished. No more. I'm not going to change anything. I like to leave powder last. So if I'm still going to apply cream products on my face, I don't set it with powder. I don't want to contour today. So I'll go right into eyebrows. And I'll be... 
using um, the Anastasia Express Brow Kit and I'm sorry you can't get this here just yet um, unless you know a stockist who brings in Anastasia. They contacted me via my blog. They asked me if I wanted to try and they'd like to send me products. So they've been sending me products because this is Oprah's favorite brow brand. Um, and I'm be using my favorite brow brush in the world right now. Even my hairstylist likes it. It's the Makeup, Makeup Forever brow brush. I'll start with a light color. I kind of tap it because there's a bit of fallout. My brows aren't that bad, but the shape is not disappointing. It's just that from this part outward, they disappear. Start in the middle. This is still the lighter color because I like to use it as the base color. This is how we were taught in Makeup Forever. You start in the middle. You don't put it dark like from start to end. You start in the middle and then you flip the brush outward going this way and then you kind of work against the hair outward here. And what that does it, is it spreads the product from the that you applied in the middle and it kind of gives a faded, you know, how it would be if to say you want your eyebrows a bit there give the illusion of gradual hair Wait now. okay and then um so i stopped talking sorry um well that's the purpose of the video so you guys can see what i'm doing so you kind of have to extend Unless your eyebrows are beautifully extended, you kind of have to extend. For the outer part, the guide is the corner of the eye up, like that. So, I shouldn't make lagpas or go beyond that. So see, I put the dark color of the brow under. Because there's light on top and there's dark under, it kind of really looks like there's a body of hair there. There's more body in the brow. So I have my brows, I have my base. To put balm, I almost forgot. The Elizabeth Arden 8R Cream Stick Balm. And this is the balm of, of all balms. <laughs> it's not organic though. So if you're looking for an organic balm, this isn't for you. Makeup Forever, Aqua Liner. I know lots of you hate working with liquid liner you love the look but just can't get it right like me now now i just made a mistake <laughs> don't do what i just did <laughs> i blinked so i started in the middle and then i went into the into the inner corner did a thin line there and i like this because can you can see it's a pointy perfect tip starts to get thick on the outer part of the iris which is your middle of your eye and then here's the going back part eh? so I kind of follow that and bring it back as in I use the side of the I just drag the side of the pen um, okay, so I brows, liner, base. I will curl my lashes. And lots of people are generally afraid to do this. They're afraid of the tool itself. That looks so scary. A guy friend said that's like, why would girls want to try and do that to their eyes? And once I've curled my eyelashes, I'll be using uh, Majolica Majorca Lash Expander Frame Mascara. And this mascara, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's it's a pain to remove, but it's perfect for iyakin people, for brides and moms who like have oily eyelids and cry a lot. Uh, this is really good. It's actually a formula that has fibers, so it makes you look like you have more eyelashes. Not just more, longer eyelashes. This is mom's favorite mascara ever. And 
she's hoping Re- Majolica restocks because apparently the last time she went, wala na itong lash expander frame. Puro lash king and the enamel one which linya type. I have my lashes and now, now I can powder. So I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Multitask Brush and my favorite Mineralized Skin Finish Natural by MAC. See, I've already kind of hit pan on it. What I like about this is there's a luminosity about the powder and there's a it's like a photogenic glow. That's what I like to call it. it. It mattifies the shine, but there's still a soft focus glow. It makes you so, so flawless in photos. Like not, And it's not the type of flawless that's like synthetic flawless. Yung, it still looks like skin. I think Sleek has one like this, and it might be less expensive, just with some stockists. Uh, luminous pressed powder, I think that's what Sleek calls it. So there, now I'm powdered. Went a little bit there. And on to lips. This is Clinique Black Honey, like I was saying. It's also hydrating. That's what I like. A lot of models carry this in their bag if they have no other lip product. They bring this because it can be a cheek tint, a natural looking cheek tint, and they can make their lips look like, you know, there's no product but they look like great looking lips. Blush. I'm using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. This is in Doll Face. And I got this thanks to House of Flair, Suyen, houseofflare.multiply.com. She imports products from the States and if there's something in the States you want, you can pre-order. Well, thanks for watching and I'm sorry if it was like lots of interruptions, lots of changing light. That's because there's, I don't know, there's a stream of clouds that kind of went overhead. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll have more for you guys.